Welcome to Vegas. And I think it's time to change the name of the truck. Tell you all about it on Riding with Kev. Well, what's going on guys? It uh, may or may not have been a minute. Uh, to the new subscribers, welcome. The usual suspects, welcome back. Typically put up videos about once a week. It's probably been a little bit, but unfortunately if you're watching this, there's no bad reason. We've just been busy. I've just been running. But before I do that, I gotta stop everything and give a big shout out to Todd. So I've been doing this channel for over two years and uh, Todd is the first driver to ever go to a company I worked for and put my name down as a referral. And that is greatly appreciated. He's already on his own, got his own truck hauling freight. So congratulations to Todd. Um, how do we get to Vegas? What's wrong with the truck? Well, nothing wrong with the truck, but I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna change the name of the truck from Seminole Wind to the Baconator. Cause I've been hauling bacon, bringing in that bread for about three weeks now. It seems like it's all I've hauled. Um, I've got a couple videos I wanna make. I'm gonna keep this one kind of short as an update it has been three weeks since I made a video. And then I've got a video talking about the truck order. I've got a video talking about flatbed reefer. Um, I'll probably get to talk a little bit more. I'll probably the title about running out west because that's where we've been for three weeks on this video. But uh, I got some more videos coming. We've just been running and I just haven't had, well, I've had time, I've just been tired. So I think last time I left you, we were on our way to Riverside, California with bacon. And we went in and it was, everything I remembered about California and why I prefer not to drive there as a trucker. I would actually probably go visit, take the wife, take the kids, maybe to some places, but truck driver, that's on the no-go list for me. So, but you know what I did? Got in, very easy off shoot. It was a Walmart and it took forever, but that's what they do. Went to Ontario, to the TA. If you've been a truck driver and you've in that area, you probably stayed at the Ontario TA. And then I got a load out of Walmart, 10 miles away, going to Kareem, Utah, just south, of, just north of Salt Lake City with bacon. <laughs> so I hauled that bacon up to Salt Lake City, dropped it off in Kareem, got a load going from Salt Lake City to Opelika, Alabama, bacon. <laughs> and so the funny thing was with that load is I about screwed myself up and I get a little tip on this pay attention to your appointment times because when we're driving and we get our message, we hit the play button and you can listen to it. And so I got there at nine o'clock on that Saturday morning and my preloaded trailer wasn't ready yet, right? But my appointment wasn't until 3.15 in the afternoon on Wednesday, so I had time. And they finally loaded it about five o'clock Saturday night. I said, you know what? I'm gonna give me about five, six hours of sleep. I'll leave out in the middle of the night and I can get there pretty easily by Wednesday afternoon. And I'll get to take this load right through Dallas because I was not gonna deal with I-80. There was a lot of snow and wind and it's all that at that time. Was, this is two weeks ago or a week ago, I don't remember. It's like, you know what? We're not gonna run up through there. We're gonna take it through the house. 75 miles out of route to not deal with the snow and go through the house. So I got up Saturday, Sunday, whatever day that was, Sunday and started driving. I got to uh, Moriarty, which we've been there before, right? And I said, I'm gonna look at something. I looked at my bills and some kind of shot me. It said 0315. That's right. I heard 315 and my mind convinced me it was 315 in the afternoon. No, no, this was Wednesday morning at 315 in the morning and now we're running behind. So I left the next day, I drove, I got to by the house about 10 o'clock in the morning because I had to drive overnights to make that appointment time. I said, you know what? I'm gonna get about seven hours of sleep. My wife could pick me up on her way home and I got to go home and shower. We did laundry, I ate dinner. It was a national championship. That's what night that was. Watched some of that. Then I went to bed and went with our lives. Went back to the truck and drove it in. Got to Opelika, no problems. That was an easy Walmart. Got that unloaded and said, all right, I need you to run up to Gaston, Alabama and take this load to Chillicothe, Missouri. Load of chicken. So I took the load of chicken and I said, all right. And again, I'm trying to keep this video kind of cohesive. I'm not going into all the little bitty details. I just took a load of chicken up there, dropped it off. They said, hey, got a load, St. Joe's to Salt Lake City, bacon. So 
hauled the bacon again. And I got to where I was uh, dropping off in Salt Lake City as a different customer. And I'm back in the dock and my phone is blowing up and it's my fleet manager. So he never calls me. So, but this is a very awkward dock and I'm like next to a building and down a hole. So I get in, I call him, hey, what's up, dude? He goes, hey, so that load that you got typically delivers to their first stop in Salt Lake and then has a follow-on stop to Missoula, Montana. I've never been to Montana. He goes, but they didn't have room on the trailer. Customer wants to know if you can reload and take the load up to Missoula from there in Salt Lake City. It's like, I'm here. He said, I don't know. And the guy came out, he's like, can you do it? And I was like, yeah. And he gave me a high five. And I was like, I didn't, just bacon. But so I didn't have to move. They unloaded me, reloaded me in the same dock, 500 miles up to Montana. And I watched three different trucks put themselves in the ditch. That was sketch. That was, that was the most uncomfortable I've been next to coming across I-80. That was my first time across I-80 in the snow and the rain. And again, I said, I forget some of these details. There's really a lot of snow getting out there. And I watched three different trucks put it in the ditch on the way to Montana. But you know what? I'd never been there before. And sometimes in life, you just gotta take the adventure. So I took the adventure and I cannot check Montana off the places I haven't been before. So they said, hey, you got a deadhead out of Montana. I said, I understand. They said, head on down to, uh, where the hell am I? Oh yeah, it was Idaho. Go to uh, Twin Falls, Idaho. Anybody with promise going to Twin Falls, Idaho, you know where I went. <laughs> so I got a load of Twin Falls, Idaho that delivers to Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I picked this load up on Tuesday, preloaded. It was actually ready. And it's not due until Friday night in Phoenix, Arizona. And the best way, most fuel efficient, goes through Las Vegas, Nevada. So I was like, man, I'll stay and I'm gonna stop and it worked out with my hours. I'll stay here in Las Vegas. I got here about 11 o'clock this morning. But when I told my wife, I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to Vegas. There's a truck stop. If you remember some long time subscribers, I knew I was here for my anniversary. And so I was like, I'll stay at that truck stop and just sleep in the truck. I was like, man, but I wish I could get a hotel. No lie, 30 minutes later, I get two emails because I'm a rewards member at Bellagio, MGM Grand, all that, because we've come here two or three times in our marriage. It says, hey, special offer just for you. What is this baloney, you know, junk email? I'll open it up. Hey, free night stay, $50 in food, $25 in free plate. Just got a book for January 31st. I'm like, I'll be there tomorrow. So I'm in this King Executive Tower suite that is bigger than some single room apartments that was free. And I'm about to go eat some free dinner. So that's where we're at. We're on our way to Phoenix. I'll get some more subset of videos. I've got some stuff I do want to say. I had had time to think. Um, I'll get those together and try and keep them a little bit shorter order. We've been out for almost a month. I think we've got about two more weeks we're going to stay out because just the paychecks. I mean, the last three weeks I, I have made before expenses like right at 20 grand. So the money's just too good right now. This is the grind season. We're grinding, we're grinding, we're grinding. So I'm still alive. I'll get some substantive stuff out to you. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. God bless. Let's get rolling.